Hey guys, my name is CreoJFX and today I've got a quick tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how I create my 3D text and uh, we're going to be using Cinema 4D and Photoshop this but before I start, I just want to mention that I've been kind of inactive lately as I said in my previous video uh, because of school and some other stuff so I lost a few subscribers which means that it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel but yeah, let's get started. So, the Light Studio that I like to use is a Light Studio made by Era. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's a very talented designer, one of my favorite designers. And um, I don't take credit for this Light Studio. It's made by him, not by me. And um, I'll also leave a link in the description of where you can find it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this Light Studio is for R12 and newer versions only of Cinema 4D. So if you're using like R11 or 11.5, this might not work, but you could always try. Otherwise, you can just find another Light Studio. I know there are a lot of them, you can just search it on YouTube or something. But yeah, so when you open up the, uh, the Cinema 4D file, you will have two text layers. So you want to delete the top one. And, um, you want to change this one to whatever you want. Uh, mine's just going to say tutorial. And use whatever font you like. I'm going to use a font that, uh, called Walsberg. It's a very nice font. I can leave a link to that in the description as well. It looks like this. So, as you can see, it's a bit too big. So, it's going to make it a bit smaller. Like so. And uh, we're gonna move the camera down a bit so that the text is like more in front of the camera and not below it. Uh, makes it look a bit better. But yeah, so as you can see, we have two materials and uh, one for the text and one for the soft box. So you wanna edit the text material, so double click it and change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna go with blue. Click OK and close that window. And then you want to duplicate this material. So hold Control and just click, hold, and drag this to the right. And that will create a copy of that material. So you want to go to the new material and change that color to a dark gray or a black or whatever. And uh, then you want to put this material on the text as well. So you have one blue material and one black material. And then you want to uh, have the blue material to the right of the black material. So it's like this. And then you want to hold control, click uh, on the blue material and drag to the right. And that will create a copy of that material. So you should now have two blue materials and one black material. Um, and then you want to click on one of the blue materials and on the selection part you want to have C1 with a capital C and then you want to click on the other blue material but now you want to type R1 so what that will do is pretty much apply the blue materials to the front and the edges of the text and the black material to the rest of the text and it gives a pretty nice effect so um, I'm pretty sure that you have to have the black material to the left of the blue materials for this to work but I'm not sure but if you want to be sure you just do that but yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, the 3d text or the cinema 4d part we're just gonna adjust the uh, the render center a little bit or we can just preview it first real quick to see if it looks good probably will. Uh, my computer's a bit slow, takes a bit of time. Um, I'm working on a laptop, that's why. But anyway, so as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, so we can go ahead and render this. So you just go to the render settings, and on the output tab, you want to change it to 1280 by 720, because 1920 by 1080, um, it's, it's pretty big, you know. If you're, you if you use this for a background, a YouTube background, you don't need it to be that big. 1280 by 720 will be fine. Um, 
1920 by 1080 just takes longer to render so there's like no point of using those that size so yeah you just want to put 1280 by 720 and then you want to go to the global illumination tab and then you want to click on the irradiance catch file I think that's how you pronounce it I'm not sure and where is this autosave you want to uncheck that so it's not selected and um, yeah so then you can go ahead and save that so you can just name it whatever you want uh, to name it text tutorial and you don't have to change any of these settings you can just go ahead and click shift R that will render it so as you can see I already did this tutorial but it kind of failed so I remade it and uh, it shouldn't take that long to render, maybe 10, 20 seconds or faster if you have a better computer than I, than I have. But yeah, that's it for the Cinema 3D part. And uh, now we're going to continue to the Photoshop part. Okay, I have now opened the text in Photoshop. So I'm going to start off by adding a quick background to this, uh, to this uh, text. So create a new layer, put it below the text layer. Uh, pick like a dark gray color and your paint bucket tool to fill it up and uh, I'm just gonna apply or add a gradient overlay to that layer real quick decrease the opacity so I have this nice gradient effect okay so now I'm gonna continue with the text uh, you want to double click the layer or the text layer and um, we are going to start off by adding a drop shadow so for distance you want 0 and for size you want this depends on how big your text is but around 30 to 40 is nice and you can make the opacity a bit higher if you want around 85 um, and then you want to add an inner shadow so change the distance to 0 again and uh, this is kind of tricky um, you want to make sure that you have this like nice gradient around the edges when you adjust the size so uh, if it's too small uh, there won't be a difference if it's too big it will just make the text darker so somewhere around 20 25 is good for my text but um, your text might be different but you want to make sure that you have this like nice gradient around the edges of the text and uh, then you want to continue and add a gradient overlay to the text change the blend mode to overlay and uh, then decrease the opacity a bit to around 50 that's pretty good uh, so if you want to make the text look a bit more sort of grungy, you can apply a texture to it. So um, I'm just gonna use this texture that I like to use for my texts. So I'm gonna drop it onto the Photoshop document, and uh, I'm gonna rotate it like this, and make it a bit bigger so that it uh, covers the whole text. And then click enter now you want to hold alt and then you want to click in between the text layer and the texture layer so you want to make sure that the texture layer is on top of the text layer and that should create a, cl uh, a clipping mask so uh, you want to change the blend mode of the texture to soft light or overlay um, I would prefer overlay makes it a bit sharper and you want to decrease the opacity just a little bit to maybe 70 something like that but um yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh of course you can experiment with the settings to make your own version of this but these are my recommended settings uh and yeah i hope you liked the video if you did, please leave a thumbs up and uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.